What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, I said I had a Mars video for you. Here we go. This is a photo I think I've done a while back, and it was of Maury Buttes. So this would be Curiosity Rover. And what it shows is like an outcropping of rocks, but there's stuff in the background as well. And are the rocks really rocks? Let's just jump right into it. Okay, you can see it right here. It's from Smithsonian Magazine. And you can see up here, they're talking about, here's another panoramic glimpse of the Curiosity Rover's next destination. And of course, this was 2016, so this goes back, like I said. And I had done this very same area, but I've done just the outcropping that's right here, maybe midsection of the photo, and you can see it right here. Now, if I zoom into this one, because it's, it's not very big, it's not a very big photo, so therefore it breaks apart, looks pixelated. But these rocks right here, I'll put them in the middle of the screen, right here, they look like a wall. And I'm thinking to myself, wow, this is incredible. This is like totally crazy, right? Is it a wall? Let's get into Photoshop and have a better look. Okay, here's a photo here. It is much larger. We can zoom in. Okay. Now, this is where it gets really, really crazy. I'm going to show you this one and the other photo, which is identical, but it's going to be fully enhanced. Now, take note of this right off the bat. Right here in this area, I see right here a little bit of white and it seems to have some kind of circular like I'm, I'm not sure what it is whether it's steel or it's rock or something another one faintly right here but we're going to bring that out a little bit better in a second this whole thing folks is not a rock you can see what looks like this whited out areas that are supposed to be blocked and they didn't block it at least not all the way you can see right here where they've tried to do this here but then you see this other piece of white whatever this thing is and again, we got to say thing because we don't even know what this could be. Even if it was out in the open, so unless it looked like a vehicle, then we'd say, well, obviously it looks like a vehicle. But we don't know what it is. Let's just do this. We're going to take the color off. Okay. So now we're going to zoom back in. Now check it out again. Look right there. What's going on right in these areas? Let's bring it up a little bit. Okay. Again, we can see this area here. And this one right here. Is it there? Go back to the original. It is absolutely there. We can bring it up, get the other crappy color off, and you can see the difference. This stuff is, in fact, there. Here. How many rocks do you know that have a shape and have, like, a slot? Like, this one has, like, this weird slot right here. A little hard to see right there, but you'll see a little bit better in a moment. I think with the other one I have, this enhanced as well. Piece of white object, whatever that is. Tried to bring it out as much as I can. But I see, when you go back on this, I see what looks like debris. I see crazy stuff in this photo. What is all that in that circle, like these right here? Looks like bent pieces of steel. Looks like all kinds of just weird stuff happening here, right? Go down to the bottom here. Check this out. I'm not sure what this thing is. See that? It looks like some kind of weird shaped fork thing. See that? Has that weird shape to it. What could that possibly be? Just, just look at the overall photo and you just get that impression it's not just rocks. There's other things involved here. And we go to these walls, what look like walls, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit more for you folks to see. Again, look at any one of these here, here, a little bit here. These two areas on this other rock. Now, just look at any one of these, and I can go back and forth, and these are here. You can see I just bring out the white a little bit better, and you can see what's really behind this manipulation to hide what's really here. Now, that's the foreground. This is what I find interesting. When I backed up, and again, I've seen this photo before, and I might have touched on it before. Look at this area in the back. I'm just going to make some yellow lines here, here, through here. Look at the difference in color all through here. Why do you suppose that is? It's different colors of manipulation. Let's see if we can bring this out a little bit better. If we just over-exaggerate the saturation here. Just bring it down just a hair bit. But see how it's more of a darker color here in the center right here. You folks see that? 
Now, that's not the only area that's like that. If we go back, I don't know if you folks will be able to see this, watch this. Right here, we have what looks like a round circle. Let's just call it a pipe for argument's sake. In other words, you can see right in the center, it's dark, right? But on each side of it, there's slightly whiter areas. Hmm, what could that possibly be? You see that right there? And notice how this, you can see like this, I don't even know how to explain it, but it looks like a darkened area, but it looks like it goes right into th the lower area. So from here into this area, wait a minute. It's like they're overlapping or they're sanitizing an area. Hmm, imagine that. I'm gonna go back from here for a second. Get rid of these. Now I'm gonna do a full enhancement. What you're gonna see is all of the top here enhanced as well as down here. Watch this. We're gonna jump over to the other photo. Now let's look at the foreground real quick. With these so-called stones. And you can see this folks, look at this. See that? Look at any one of those supposed blocks. They're not blocks at all. See that? Okay. Now let's back out. Folks, look at this. This is crazy. Right here. They look like framework, folks. In my opinion, this area here I said earlier about that weird circle with the black in the center, right there. Let me get rid of the lines here. There you go. Now, I'm going to slowly go over this from left to right, and then I'm going to zoom in. So you can get an overall. Also keep an eye on what's up here as well. Keep an eye on all these little circles you see here that look like pipes, weird other little things, so on and so forth. What's crazy about it, if you zoom into this here, you can see this area right here. It looks like it's doing this. This is going up. Back. Let's get stopping there and then going back down. But there's some kind of blackened area right there. You guys may not be able to see it all that gray. Here's another part to it. That same area. Look at this right here. It appears to be doing this. See that? Something is up here. There is structures, in my opinion, there's structures. There's weird objects underneath this manipulation. Well, it looks like a pipe right there in the center of this circle right there. I see, again, in my opinion, I see structural. Piece is coming out like this. Coming down. I don't know if this is, this line here is part of the middle of the structure. See that? You have the upper and lower parts of it, or it's something they did to make the border. In other words, remember when I said we had this line and then this other line, they just made this a line to say, okay, we're just going to block this particular area out so we'll square it out. Or it's actually real. I don't know. We'll go back to the original. See that? You can see this straight line. I didn't do that very straight, but you get the idea. You can see that. What are we seeing here? If these blocks here, or they're covering them up to make them look like just blocks, yet we can see the white in parts of these objects that are laying on the ground, if that's artificial, meaning intelligently made, then it's not far-fetched to believe there's something behind this area. I believe there's structures in the back here. In fact, I was just looking at this area too. Right here, look at this piece right here. Look at this section. The way it looks like it's framed off. It has these square openings. Well, that's not too square, but you get the idea. See that? This area right here alone. 
That's not something you should see on a planet that has no life, never, according to NASA, never had life as far as intelligent. It might have been microbial or macro, but never intelligent. Yet we've, we're seeing that again here, to a little bit to the left and up right there. That doesn't look natural to me, folks. And of course, I'll leave this up to you folks to tell me what you think this is. I just noticed this too. Check this out. What is this in the ground right here? How does that happen in nature? Now, nature can do some pretty wild things. We can all agree on that. I'll back up a little bit. Let you guys see the overall. Here's the original. Right there. And again, we can see this pretty clear. I can see where they've done the manipulation. It's a different color, folks. A lot of this has all been manipulated. However, you can see this particular area. They really went to town to try to hide it. If you really look at this, you can see those objects, or I want to call it framework for argument's sake, because I don't know what exactly it is, right? You can see these areas just looking at in between, a little bit lighter than the actual manipulation. Get rid of some of that overlay and just have a look. Looks like a block here. I just noticed this too. What is this right here? See that? Something right here. I see a debris field. Look at all this mess in here. All in here. You can see what looks like these different, I don't know if I'm going to call them metal, bent metal, call it what you will. I don't know, but I see things going up like this. Coming down. I don't know. As always, you folks be the judge. Folks, I said it before. The moon, Mars, and any other place they go in the future is a reconnaissance mission, period. I don't care if they're going to Jupiter's moons. I don't care where they're going. They're going to find, I can almost promise you, as long as it's a solid planet, not a gaseous planet, that you're going to see that there was life throughout this solar system and there's just completely loaded with structures or some kind of intelligently made structure. Pluto, it's way too cold for something on Pluto. However, we were once a binary solar system, had two suns, heat on one end of the solar system, heat on the other. You could live on the other planets if you wanted to. And keep this in mind, they can also live underground. Artificial atmospherics like us, it gets too hot in the in the summertime, we put on air conditioning. It gets too cold, we put on heat. Um, if we needed to change, uh, like, carbon to oxygen, like they've done on the new Perseverance rover, they've done that or on a small scale with a tool, so they can do that. So there's so many ways to adapt. You just got to have the technology, or you're just born and raised on that particular planet, and therefore you don't need to adapt. You folks tell me what you think. Drop your comments down below. I'm always interested to hear what you have to say. Please like and share the video. It's always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube will share it. Folks, if you thought the last moon video was crazy, I went about it a different way this time. And what I found in there is really going to blow your mind. What I saw in there totally, totally was unexpected. I seen what we did in the last photo and the last video and I saw some crazy stuff in there. This beats that. It definitely trumps it. You'll see what I'm talking about. Stay tuned. Anyway, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.